Greetings and salutations. This is the voice of Loquacious of Heard, bringing you his afterthoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 12, titled Amending Fences. I heartily suggest that you find and watch the episode itself, sans commentary, before proceeding with either this afterthoughts review or viewing my full reaction, which is hosted at the link in the description. Be warned, this afterthoughts review will contain spoilers for this episode. With that out of the way, a note before we move on to the review itself. This spoken herd review will be relatively brief, as there was a more extensive written herd segment produced for this episode. That written herd segment is available in Google Drive, under details, in the Blind Reactions description. Now, this is more like it! My Little Pony is back in full swing with another awesome addition to Season 5. One of the many things I enjoy about the show is how some of the characters can grow and change. Twilight is an excellent case in point. From her beginnings as an unsociable bookworm to her embrace of the magic of friendship and her destiny as one of Harmony's champions in this regard, she's gone from a pony who was a very poor friend, really more of an acquaintance at best, to somebody who strives to be a very good friend to all. This is a laudable thing, and Spike praises her for it. Which, Twilight being Twilight, only serves to remind her that she used to be a pretty bad friend indeed. The sort of friend who'd up and move to a new town without so much as a fare you well to her old social circle. And thus, we embark on this episode, tracking down and offering apologies to Twilight's old circle of Canterlot friends. I loved how the central conflict of this episode is rooted in what had been a few moments of largely throwaway animation from Season 1, Episode 1. A scene intended only to show us that Twilight was the sort of pony who, as Twinkleshine noted, is more interested in books than friends. Blowing off the trio of Twinkleshine, Lemonhearts, and Minuet, then running past an enthusiastically waving Lyra, all while in pursuit of academic, esoteric knowledge, rather than social times at Moondancer's party, is how we first met Twilight. And now, that moment has become the seed of this latest trouble. It's quite interesting to me that, in effect, the old Twilight is the villain of the piece, out of a lack of understanding rather than malice, and now the new Twilight is struggling to put right what she so carelessly did wrong back in the day. Thankfully, most of her old friends are perfectly fine with the situation, no hard feelings at all. Minuet, Twinkleshine, and Lemonhearts might have felt a little stung by Twilight's easy abandonment of her old Canterlot social circle, but, as they noted, it was kind of what they had grown to expect from Twilight. And while this wasn't exactly the most pleasant revelation for Twilight herself, it did serve to help bury the hatchet and once again move their friendships forward. Also, among the other things I loved about this episode, is the makeup of this little once-upon-a-time circle of friends. All of them are unicorns, again heightening the fact that Canterlot is a city that has a population made up predominantly of that particular kind of pony. And even more delightful, in what seems like an intentional nod back to Season 1's, let's call it lack of diversity in character models, we have here a group of six friends who share a total of three designs. Twinkleshine and Lemonhearts are color swaps of the same pony design. Lyra and Minuet are again color swaps of the same pony design. And once we meet Moondancer, we see that she is a color swap of Twilight's old unicorn design. Ah, it takes me back to the uh, good old days of season one, where looking at a still shot of any crowd scene gave one the impression that things sure were awfully bonbon in there. So many cloned ponies, such rampant abuse of the old copy and paste. Further, the visual similarity between Moondancer and Twilight heightens the similarities in personality the two possess. And here is where the real conflict begins. Moondancer has come to reject friends in favor of academia. She was truly hurt by Twilight's abandonment. And, in their reunion, Twilight finds herself face to face with everything that had been wrong with her past self. The isolation, the loneliness, and, in Moondancer's case, the burying herself in study to distance herself from the pain of that long-ago rejection. It's a sobering look at a dark path that Twilight could have taken 
had she not learned how to make friends. Twilight strives to set things right between them, and I do quite like how the whole scene eventually unfolds. With a little help from her friends, new and old, Twilight manages to mend fences with the pony she wronged so many seasons ago. Once again, it was quite the feelsy scene. I like. If you wish to see my full reaction to My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 12, titled Amending Fences, the link, as I mentioned earlier, is in the description. Feel free to leave any comments or likes for that reaction here on this Afterthoughts review. In addition, the full text of the original Written Heard segment for my blind reaction to Amending Fences is available in Google Drive under details in the video's description. And until next time, as always, kindly remember... Y'all are awesome. Stay awesome.